And Philip and Leslie, we've learned that Social Security checks won't be impacted, but a number of other things will be. There are a lot of moving parts that are happening right now here in Washington. Democratic Senate leader Chuck Schumer is currently at the White House after being summoned by President Trump. There are last minute negotiations that are happening and a top White House official says the chance of a government shutdown right now is 50 50. Democrat leader. Senate showdown. Lawmakers are pointing fingers just hours before a possible government shutdown. Hold the entire country hostage until we pass an immigration bill they haven't even written yet. This is completely unfair. Shame on the majority party, the Republicans, for saying that's the best they can do. We can do better. President Trump tweeting this morning, Democrats want illegal immigration and weak borders. Shutdown coming? We need more Republican victories in 2018. The White House holding a rare mid-morning press briefing. He's making continued calls this morning. He's called both bipartisan members today. He will continue to do that. He is leading on this issue. The one-month deal to fund the government passed the House last night. On the table. Without a fix for nearly 800,000 young immigrants, the Dreamers. But Senate Democrats do not oppose anything that is in this bill. They're just holding this critical funding hostage for a deal on a completely unrelated immigration issue. But not every Senate Republican is on board. There's a bipartisan immigration proposal on the table, but Trump has rejected it. And you need to be a street fighter in many ways to clean up Washington, but you also need to be the president of all of us. There's a time to fight and there's a time to deal. It is now time to deal. If the government shuts down, a long list of things will happen across the country. 800,000 federal employees off the job, no paychecks. Service members also wouldn't get paid, but essential military operations will continue.